that grey domed scoundrel ever seeking Lady Vivian. Strange. We're sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa? Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave.
Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Why should I guess when you could tell me yourself? If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Cause the Duchess trusts me? Cause I'm a freak too? Cause cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone? I will be discreet. I swear this on the Heron. You mock me. No, it's just... You want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone. Unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me... She and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young. Too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But fifteen summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case, yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. 
Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet, truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree. Wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we? Return. Think I'll stay here a little longer. As you wish. Then I shall see you on the morrow. <laughs>